Hey guys, it's Lord Militians back with another um, MCP video, and today I'm going to be showing you. It's um, I already did a slappers tutorial, but this one's a little bit more in depth because <laughs> I know the commands a little bit better. So um, I'm going to um, do some cool stuff with slappers. Yeah. So okay. Basically, um, we're going to be covering every slapper command you can think of um, in. Uh, a server maker for MCPE server, but you can use it on Leet too, so um, that's a good thing because Leet I f find is a bit more popular. Um, so, let me pause the video for a second here. Okay, so um, basically what I just did was I made these signs so that I can teleport to the middle of these blocks because I am a perfectionist and it irritates me when my slappers are created not perfectly centered on the blocks and if you need to do that what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to settings video and then click on um, camera perspective and third person front and then you can crouch and like move just little bits to the left and right but anyway so I set my home there I set my homes there so I don't have to do that um so first thing we're gonna do we're gonna cover is slash slapper create now this is probably what just happened <laughs> this is probably the most um simple one uh but uh anyway you'll see so i'm gonna okay so now you're gonna do slash slapper create and then it could be player which or human um, and then we, and then we have, um, just any type of mob, so like, maybe a chicken, um, or falling sand, which is basically a slapper version of a block, and it'll, uh, it'll turn into a stone block, but you can change the block ID, so I'll show you how to do that later, just a minute. So, um, so player would be the one I'm going to be doing right now, and, um, and then... So let's say just test slapper one. Now, as you can see, um, normally they're, they're supposed to, for some reason this doesn't work on my server, they're supposed to be able to turn to face you, but for some reason it doesn't work here. Okay, so anyway, um, so now I'm going to, um, let's say, what do I want to do? Let's say I want to edit his name. So I'm going to look, see here, and it says, human energy spawned with name test slapper one and entity ID 7716. Now, that means basically I can refer to it as 7716 when I'm editing um, so let's say, oh, but what if I forget the ID or it changes? Sometimes it'll change when there's nobody on the server for some reason. So I'm going to do slash slapper ID as I just did. And then I'm going to tap the slapper I want to hit, uh, hit the slapper I want to get the ID of. So it gives me 7716. Now what I'm going to do to change the name is slash slapper edit and then the ID. So 7716 and then name. And then, um, hi. So now its name, as you can see, is changed to hi. So, um, if I want to open up, uh, just the regular menu, I'm going to do slash slapper help. It shows all these things. But, but really, what I'm going to want to do is slapper edit. 7716, and it'll tell me the things that I can do to it. So, helmet, I can do slash slapper edit 7716 helmet, and then what the helmet should be. So, like a chain helmet, let's say edit 7716. You can also do head, um, I think, uh, so iron helmet. And as you can see now it has an iron helmet. Um and so now I'm gonna do 
Um, let's say chest plate, leggings, boots, also chest, legs, feet, um, skin. That will just change the skin to whatever I have at the moment. Um, and then we have, um, name, of course. Name visibility, I've never d tried that before. Let's try this. Edit, um, 7716, name visibility, D, never. Okay, so now I can not see its name. So then I can just do slapper, edit, 7716, name vis visibility, always, I think. Okay, there we go. So, um, now what I'm going to do is look through here again. So there's name visibility, add command, which is one of the most important ones. Um, slash slapper edit 7716, add command. And then I'm going to type the command I want to do without a slash. So let's say RCA, so run command as, and then um, in, in tap to do it's percent P, but here it's player in brackets, curly brackets. And then um, let's say warp wild. Now when I tap it, I'm going to warp to the wilderness. Now I can do slash slap or edit del command, <laughs> delete command. Yeah. And I have to type in the exact command that I did before. Well, first I'm going to do list cool. commands. Command. There. So, you can also get the ID of the command, I think. And just do, um, oh, no, still can't do that. Okay. Slap it. 7716 Del Command Command RCA Player Warp Wild. Now, when I tap it, it shouldn't warp. To the wilderness. Okay, now um, after that, you do let's say um, you can. Well, wait. Scale. Okay. So, um, basically, TP two and TP here are the exact same thing. Um, and what they're gonna do? I'm gonna go over here. Oh, no. Okay. So slash slapper edit seven seven one six TP here. There. Um, I'm gonna try TP two because I'm not sure if that it edit seven seven one six TP two. Okay, uh, it just teleports me to the entity. Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna do, um, slash slapper edit, um, slapper edit 7716 scale. Now, this is my favorite one. Basically, it just changes the size of the slapper. Um, so let's say I want it to be half the size of a normal player. So I'm going to do slapper edit 7716 scale 0 0.5. And as you can see, now we have a tiny little slapper here. So cute, so cute, so cute. Okay, and then we have, um, I'm going to change it back. Edit 7716 scale 10. Now we have a gigantic player ridiculously big version of me, um, and then slapper, edit, seven, seven, 
six scale one. There we go. So it's back to the same size it was. Now, um, last thing I'm going to do is probably, um, let's see, menu name. Never tried that before. Edit 7716 menu name. Now let's see, what does that do? I want to see if I can do this. Yeah, it's not going to, I don't know what menu name does, but whatever. Um, doesn't matter here. Um, well, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it can count as a player if I do that. Okay, that's weird. That's kind of creepy, too. So I can make fake players. Okay. That's really strange. Okay. Wonderful. So, um, yeah, now it says... It, now, it, if this weren't glitched, it would say that it doesn't, it, it, the, that test wasn't in the game anymore. But anyway, that would be really uh, fun to troll players with. Um, to pretend there's like just an, a perpetually AFK player in the server. Um, so yeah, that was, that's the plugin tutorial. Um, well, actually, one more thing. We have, um,. We have falling sand. So I'm gonna do slash slapper spawn falling sand. You can also do slash slapper create, it's not any different. Um and oh, and then I'm gonna do display name in curly brackets here so that it'll show my name. And it says, hello, Lord Motions. Um, now I'm going to do slash slapper. Oh, wait, what's the ID here? 7809. Slapper edit 7809. And block zero. Now it glitches out the name, display name thing for a little while, but it will come back next time you log in. Now I'm going to do slash slapper remove. And I'm, I can either type the entity and it will remove the entity specific, the specific entity. Or I can just remove it by tapping it. So that was our um, slappers plugin tutorial. Um, you can use this, just as a reminder, you can use this on server maker for MCP servers and late servers. As long as you have the permissions um, for it. And, um, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you like my content. And, uh, I'll be making more tutorials. See you later. Bye.